I'm not your average angler if you haven't figured that out yet. Um, so today I'm in Dayton, Tennessee, and I just got done. I just caught like two hours ago a five pound largemouth bass, biggest bass ever caught. It may have been the video right before this, I'm not sure. Um, there's you know people fishing all over big bass, and I fished it, I fished for a little while. And you know what? All I want to do right now is ultralight fish. I like I want ultralight fish so bad. I'm like, why do I? I don't know why I should be going big back for big bass. They're out, they're around the bank, but. I'm gonna pick out my uh, B and B Custom Outdoors six foot ultralight rod. Got two pound line on it, and there's there's all these little creeks that run into the Chickamauga Lake area. We're gonna go and just catch some fish, maybe bass, bluegill, whatever we get. It'll be fun to catch on here. Quick wardrobe change, old tennis shoes, got shorts, and a different t-shirt. I didn't want to get my pants wet, so I wanted to change. Uh, and now I'm ready to get to it. All right, this is a creek that I did a video and did really good uh, last summer. Caught a bunch of fish out of here. And um, I think I've been back to it one time and I didn't really catch anything. Uh, so I'll be kind of waiting for it to warm up. And before we catch a fish, let me catch this turtle real quick. Just sitting down there. Pretty colored. I don't know, there's a lot of different types of turtles. All right, let's go back in. There's one. Kept getting hits. What? That was a yellow perch. That is not what I thought I was gonna catch. It was a little yellow perch. No wonder you kept hitting at it. I see some green sunfish, but a yellow perch was the first hit. Almost got it in. Oh yeah, there's one. What is that? Green sunfish. He just inhaled that little lure. He ate that whole thing. There we go, that might be hooked. Come on. Ooh, bluegill. I'm using this little, uh, it's a combat jigs swim bait, the little two inch one. I just got these and the, the little two inch style is awesome. Now I got only a one sixty fourth ounce jig head. It might be a little small, but uh, I wanted something really Real small jig head. I don't really need much cast it on this two pound line. There we go. Oh, I think that's what I had hit just a second ago and lost it. A little large mouth. I got just a small little hook on there. It doesn't give much room for air. Yeah, that's. Now, when you go ultralight fish, it doesn't mean you have to be fishing for tiny fish. You know, these are small, but they're, that's a good sized fish to catch on a little little line here. And I'm trying to hopefully get the uh, bigger sunfish to come out. Stay on there. What we got? Bluegill. These fish, are, there's a lot of small ones and they keep biting at it. I'm trying to let them bite it and let them get it in their mouth where I tried jerking it. That one barely got in his mouth, but try to let them, let them hook themselves. That's a little bluegill. Oh, dude, that was a good bluegill. I mean a bass, and then a bluegill. <laughs> okay, so a, a bass just came up and hit it, and I let it pause, then a bluegill came and got it. Man, I just learned something I had no idea. It's the only way you're gonna learn is by getting in creeks. This deep pool back here, I fished it from way up there and it looks like it stays deep the whole way. Like I thought it was a really deep creek. Turns out that's a pretty deep pool, which I've caught some really good bass out of that deep pool. But turns out it's not that long and then it, it gets shallow again and then there's another one down there. I thought it was a lot deeper than this. So that kind of changes my whole way I th thought about this creek. And uh, the bass that get up in there, they're, they're kind of, they really basically stuck up in there whenever the water gets low. So 
That's really cool. Oh yeah. That's what kind of fish we want right there. The almighty red breast. Those guys are fine fish to catch. I know they're not everywhere, but they're, they're really colorful, strong, and they got a big mouth. You know, pretty good sized mouth for a sunfish. Oh, there's one. Oh! Thought I had him. Oh, man! All right, that's it. I'm changing hooks. That's another bass that hit it and came off. We're gonna have to go with a, a larger hook for this thing. There's a lot of little sunfish in here and I just saw, ooh, that's a bigger one there. I saw a big bass go through. But all these little bitty sunfish are just like, oh, that's a, is that right? I think that was a yellow bass. There's a bunch of diversity in here. Different fish oh, right underneath me, like literally a whole school of fish. I, dude, I think they're yellow bass or white bass or something. Got one of them. Yeah, dude, that is awesome. Oh, they're kind of smaller than I thought. They, I may go, I actually may have to go down size because they keep nipping at it and not getting it. This is a uh, yellow bass. There's a whole school of them right there. We might try to get, and other fish mixed in there, like just gobs of them. Cool little yellow bass. There's another one. Dude, there's so many of them down there, like this size. I, will, I might just downsize and see if I can catch a bunch of them, but I've caught a couple of them on it, so they might still, they're just, they, they all like nipping at it. That is crazy. These fish are picky. I'm getting a lot of hits where they're like biting it and spitting it out. Like, mm, I kind of want it, but I kind of don't. Oh yeah. But the uh, the swim bait, little bill swim bait action is, they're just really chasing it. Nice little bluegill. This was a, I don't know if I told you this, this was a different, um, I changed up colors to this, um, this one by the combat jigs. And this is their own jig head, the 1 16th ounce that they have. And um, so it's a, it's a great little setup. I could have came in here with 10 pound braid and fished with it and cut them, but I kind of wanted to go on just lighter, real light tackle, you know, two pound ultralight. It's, it makes it definitely more challenging. You can't set the hook real hard, but also every little fish is fun. And then if you, if I do get into something good, it is, it's a blast. Even though there's a good chance, you, you know, it might come off, you can't set the hook on it, but. It's still something you gotta try doing every once in a while, just for fun. There we go. Another good bluegill. Oh, whoa. Yeah. Dude, that's what I like about this jig, this, the two inch size here. You can, I mean, I, I, you know, just a regular size, decent bluegill has no trouble getting that thing in his mouth. So you can catch a good diversity of fish on it. Oh, that felt good. Oh yeah. There we go, stay on there. That's not even a big large mouth, but man, this thing puts up a fight. That's a good one, that's cool. There we go, that's kind of fish I was wanting to get on here. I've seen a few of these like hit at it. I set the hook fine on that little guy. Yeah, he nailed it. Ooh, little large mouth there. This tree is pretty cool. Look at that thing. It like just comes way over the creek and goes up. Uh, goes way over, then goes back up. Where you at? Oh, the red breast. Good one though. Man, that's a nice red breast sunfish. 
really good sized fish there. Think that's gonna stop me? I probably could have wore my wading felt sold shoes on this one, but you know, I don't like wearing them like they're just not comfortable to walk around in. And I like to go, sometimes I'll walk, like if I get back on the road and walk back, it's gonna be really aggravating wearing those rather than just wearing old tennis shoes. There we go. That's a good fish. It's a good fighting fish right there. What is it? I don't know. Don't come off. I gotta look at you first. Oh my goodness. Uh, this, dude, this, this ain't the fish I was oh my goodness about. Two giant bass just came up and followed this, what is it? White bass? Sweet, I didn't know they were still around. Now that's a good ultralight fishing uh, fish to catch there. Oh man, I saw two huge large mouths come up, but they, they haven't really seemed interesting. I'm trying to stop. I want to even try to catch some of them with this setup. Uh, I don't even know if I brought any lures big enough for them. All right, that's a fun little white bass. Let's get it back in there. Maybe get some more of them. All right, well, the creek's getting a little too deep for me to really want to keep going. Uh, I'm going to have to look at my map to see where this spot is. But, dude, there, I've seen some. There's so many different fish in here. Um, didn't know it was a rocky gravel bottom. And um, there's a bunch of big largemouth. Like, I don't know if they were really hitting today. They, they, they felt like they were just cruising, you know. And I didn't have any really uh, any bigger lures to go after them. I'll, I'll try to have to come back and try again, but... This has just been a, a really great uh, day experience, learning this creek, uh, learning this little, little uh, combat jigs lure, and um, the fish have really been tearing it up. Some of the little fish hitting it, it can't get hooked, they're too small. Uh, I think some of those big bass will hit this sometimes, but most times they're gonna go for something a little bit bigger. But um, this right here will catch a, a good variety of fish for sure, and it's a perfect little creek lure that I'm gonna have to definitely keep with me. So uh, I'm gonna work my way back up. I don't know, I, I may change up lures a little bit. I wanted to try to get to the road and walk back, but it's still kind of far off. So I have to walk back up the creek, I think. But um, we'll go back up, maybe get a few more um, just on the way up. Oh, what's a good fish. Where are you at? Oh, it's a largemouth. I thought he was bigger than that. He like just took off with it. Nice large mouth. Oh. Wait. Oh, I got one. Got a, oh. There's a bigger one right behind it. So, the hooker might did get me one bass, but I've seen several that just, they're not interested in biting today. They don't seem like, or at this time, but. A good little large mouth. Oh, another one. Okay, take that back. So the li what? The oh, the little bass are biting, but the uh, the big ones won't. So, and, and this is the same bat fish that we're hitting the swim bait, and I probably had the uh, smaller jig head on earlier. So I don't think it's really the Helgramite on these. I think they just, little ones are hitting and the big ones just aren't. I guess they're probably used to hitting bigger, bigger food. That is got a gash in him though. Uh, this is where I uh, started, but I want to go just a little bit further because uh, I'm going to switch back to um, this little, I don't know what this is. Little, uh, just a little bug looking thing, a little creature looking thing from the, Combat, oh, combat jigs one, and I'm gonna put it back on a one uh, 64 ounce jig head. So I'm gonna go back to that small one.
No way! This creek is crazy. It's a little bitty crappie. There's so much different fish that come up out of the lake up into here. And this is like super shallow. Holy moly, look at the pinchers. Oh, don't get me, don't get me. You can almost reach me. Oh, he's trying. It's a big crawl down there. Just going through. Oh man, there's a good largemouth right there. Still big largemouth in this creek. Keep coming up. Dude, I got him. It's not giant. It's a good largemouth. I didn't know he. I was just. Oh, get out of there, get out of there. It took me right to a tree. Still hooked. Right into this, like, bush issue. <laughs> Check that out. Oh man, that was awesome. Good thing I went just a little. Oh, there's another one. There's another one in this hole right here. Look at this little bitty creature thing. When they want to hit, they'll just hit whatever. That's that's what I've what I've found, especially in creeks. If they'll if whatever if they're looking to eat, they'll bite anything that comes through there. I was just I saw a little a bass and I was jigging it through. It's like a pound and a half large mouth, maybe pound and a quarter, something like that. A really good fish. Way up in here. That is so cool. Dude, that made, made the day right there, but there's I've caught so much fish out of here and diversity, and this, this is really awesome. Good thing he got kind of stuck in there and didn't break off, but all right, let's put him back in. That's really a beautiful, beautiful largemouth there. There we go. Oh, another species. Yep, get it in, get it in. I knew sometime I had to catch these shiners. Usually, usually the shiners are a lot further back, but man, they they uh, they kind of get pushed way up. I think from all the, the bigger fish, they are pushed way up here. No shiners back there. I didn't see any. But uh, all right, that's it's probably starting to it's starting it's starting to get a lot lot smaller. But there's still so much fish in here. And that's how it's done. I'm back. Uh, what a great little time going down the creek. Uh, I think it was only like two hours, probably two hours uh, going down and coming back up. Caught a bunch of fish. I have to count up all the species because there was a bunch of different species. Largemouth, red breast, green sunfish, shiner, bluegill, uh, white bass, yellow bass, crappie. And I did have a yellow perch but that almost came in. I don't know if I'm missing any. Plus I caught a turtle and a crawdad, so that's a pretty successful day. Yeah, so I'm really thankful for the guys that sent me these uh, combat jigs. Um, there's several different ones. The little swim baits, uh, I really like those, the little swim bait ones, but there's these little crawdads that I meant to bring, and I didn't bring those with me, but I'm gonna be trying those out some more. All right, so all that happened on, in about two hours in this afternoon. And I, I, you know, I really want to go back in there with like some big swim baits, go for those big bass. But these are the struggles of a full-time YouTuber now. So tomorrow, I'm going kayaking. So that that takes a little bit of requirement to get everything ready. I gotta get all this uh, my data, all put on the computer, get my batteries charged. I know it's rough life, huh? There's lots of things that I, I want to do, depending on weather and timing, and and then it's supposed to rain next week. So you know, I'm just I'm trying to get out a lot of videos out. A lot of good quality videos using different lures, different ways, mostly creek stuff. And um, tomorrow I'm going to kayak in a river. I love, you know, river stuff. So I hope you're enjoying these because uh, I really love making them and I'm having a blast doing them. And I, I think thankful for all the support that I get from everybody.